Believe it or not, I am back in my master bedroom today. No, I'm not working on the closet. I am working on this space next to the bed that I wish I could call a path. <laughs> <laughs> but really, I just wiggle around two oxygen machines and a bunch of stuff all over the floor. And I want to have something that really does resemble a path. That's my plan for today. If you are a new subscriber, I'm Mira and I am on a journey to declutter my house after... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Decades of disorganization. I never know, like, do I say my age there? Or what do I do? I wasn't disorganized as a baby, surely. <laughs> I have gotten some help from others since I started this channel, and I'm 100% grateful for that. Often I am working on my own, and that is what I am doing today. All clothing that is being tossed over to the left is going to be washed. And look, I've come across a brand new <laughs> hose for my CPAP machine, which I desperately need, quite honestly, because a certain dog I will not name loves chewing plastic, and he has gotten to the current one. I'm sure it's not working as efficiently as it could. We're going to just hook up the new one now, get rid of the other one. Nowadays, I block off the bedroom during the day because otherwise I would need <laughs> new equipment on a regular basis and ain't nobody got the time or money for that. One thing I love about decluttering is finding some treasures that I have purchased in the past and saying, oh, isn't that great? That's so cool. And then I am able to pull them out and use them. Let's talk about where things are in the master bedroom. I started that early this year and I was going through clothes week after week after week and that got to be a lot and then I did the t-shirts and which I have huge emotional attachment to and that kind of did me in. I decided I needed to stop in the bedroom because it was freaking me out. It was making me panic thinking about going in there and doing more stuff with clothes. Anxiety is one of the ingredients of my mental health cocktail, but it never really made itself known quite like this. It was definitely something different. This was exacerbated by the fact that I got my closet done, so there are some shelves and things in there, and as I started putting the clothes that I'm keeping away, I realized that I am going to have to let go of much more in order for all of it to fit. Well, duh, some of you might be thinking, <laughs> because I do have a tendency to overdo, and I have too much of just about everything. But this was a blow to me, since I had already gotten rid of so much, and it did set me back. I've been working on other projects, like the scrapbook room, and maintenance, both of which I'm getting help for. But here's the thing about me and projects that I set aside. Just because I set them aside and don't immediately work on them, they're still in my head and my brain is still turning them round and round and I'm thinking about things and mulling over things. And this week, I just had a very strong urge to finally clear this path right next to my bed so that I don't have to 
turn myself sideways to get out of bed and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Plus, I often hear rustling underneath my bed and it's from some dog who shall not be named who likes to just investigate and see what's up or down as the case may be. And though I'm not doing it too much under the bed, I did a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> so I'm excited to do this little space and I'm just going to do what I can. I have to go at my pace. That may be too slow for a lot of people, but it works for me. I'm coming across just all kinds of things. Random t-shirts, leggings, things that I have worn and they just got set there instead of, you know, actually where the other dirty clothes are. I'm going to go ahead and create a pile here for things that I am going to donate. Not doing thread up anymore. So I'm not worrying about that. I'm just going to donate locally and that's how I'm going to do this. I've got a bunch of trash as well as an old pillow that I put in my trash bag. My little clay is coming to see how I'm doing. And I'm about to take oxygen machine number one out of the room. This is the oxygen machine that came home with me when I came out of the hospital after surviving sepsis in 2022. I am no longer on oxygen, but I still am planning to keep the machine because I have needed to be on it on and off over the years. Right now it's off, but I'm going to eventually store it in the hallway closet. That's a project for future me. Now, I went and collected a box because I realized that one of the problems in this bedroom is that I have stuff that I want to keep in here, but I don't have the shelves up yet. And so I'm just putting stuff that I am keeping into that box. And now here goes oxygenator number two. And that one is not really working the best. I think it still sort of works, but it is also super loud. I really just need to take it somewhere to get it recycled or reserviced or something. I got some good tips on a previous video, so I'm going to go back and check that. <laughs> what did I toss over there? I don't know, but Colt went after it. <laughs> I am still trying to shove everything into this trash bag. I don't know why I didn't have two, but you know, I brought in one for trash and one for recycling and I should have switched them. The, the bigger one I ended up putting recycling into. This heating pad is well past its prime. I saw that it was kind of tearing apart at the top. So I decided I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. I am just doing my best to clean everything off the floor. Here is some tubing for the oxygenator. It is a few years old and thus I'm going to let that go as well. Colt sure seemed to love getting, <laughs> getting down here and seeing what is what. <laughs> And I do have a CPAP machine because I have sleep apnea and thus I also came across some one gallon water bottles. In case you were worried that you weren't going to see a water bottle here, don't worry, there'll be some others too. <laughs> 
that reminds me about my merch. I do have a t-shirt that says there's always a water bottle because there is in fact always a water bottle in my videos. What can I say? I accidentally hit the button on my CPAP machine so it's lighting up in the background. I've got a pile of small things that I'm going to be taking to a different room that don't really belong here. And here's where I come up with a silly idea. I thought, well, I've got this small little empty bag that previously held a CPAP mask. So let's just see if I can sweep up my dirt into it. And no, it's not big enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> but I did give it a try for a while. I don't know. Brain's a little foggy right now, I guess. But <laughs> I was just too lazy to get up and go get another big bag. And yeah, you can see how well that went. Half of it didn't even go into that bag. Now, I'm being very careful as I sweep up the floor because... I have some glasses that broke. <laughs> I am not sure where they are is the problem. My beloved Cupid was diagnosed with an eye ulcer. And so the vet said that to save the eye. Now here's where I got smart. I finally was like, I can throw out the pillow separately. Let's just pull it out of the bag and, you know, use the, the trash bag how it was intended, please. Okay, so the vet told me that in order to save the eye, I needed to give him some eye drops every two hours, day and night. And that's exactly what I did. I did that for two and a half to three weeks. Well, during that time, as you might imagine, I wasn't always fully awake <laughs> when I got up throughout the night. I was kind of foggy. And the best that I can figure is that I took out my earbuds and put them on the nightstand. And that might have like broken the lenses out or something. So in the morning, I found my glass frames. I found one lens and the other one is, I don't even know where I have looked for it. It's in this room somewhere and I do hope to find it. The glasses that I have worn <laughs> are my backup glasses. I've been wearing my backup glasses since before I even started this channel. I would love to get both lenses back if I can manage it and go back to wearing the ones that actually stay on my head because these fall off quite easily and yeah I would just would prefer to <laughs> wear those if I can somehow manage it. We'll see. I don't end up finding the lens today. I really think it's under my bed and so I'm going to need some help with that. But that's a problem for future me. I've got the brown bag and I'm putting papers in it so I can use that, yay, to hold whatever papers I find in here. And then I can put those papers with all the other papers that I found in various rooms <laughs> and I'll have a paper sort-a-thon. But yeah, that's too overwhelming to think about right now. So it's all just gonna go into that brown bag. And look, more clothes. It looks like a swimsuit top. I'll probably end up tossing it. I think it's a super old one that it's probably, you know how swimsuits can get kind of crunchy when the elastic goes kind of feel like that might be the case with that one, but we'll see. Meanwhile, my dogs have settled down somewhat, both in the video and in real life. Knock on wood, people. Colt does not love <laughs> when I am trying to work on voiceovers. 
I try to wear him out some with his squeaky toy beforehand, but it works sometimes and other times not so much. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through some other stuff. Now that is a bag full of socks that I collected back when I was cleaning by the closet. So I'm putting that in that brown dresser. I don't know what to call it. That brown cubby. And that is where lots of shoes are. And socks and shoes will be a problem for future me. So I'm just putting them there for now. My goal is just to create a path. That's all I want to do right now is create a path so I can come to bed without worrying about doing the sideways shuffle. And I know there are more of us shufflers out there. So this is a shout out to you. You are loved. You are worthy. You are appreciated. And you deserve to have something better than a shuffling life. We deserve it and we can create it for ourselves little by little. And I do mean little by little. Sometimes we don't have time to do a whole lot in one session. Sometimes we don't have the energy for that. And I know that is definitely true for me. Energy is something I have in short supply and I have to work with it a little at a time. But this is worthwhile. It is worthwhile work. Now I'm trying to sort through some chords and I got to the point where I was like, you know what, I don't have the energy to sort the chords right now. That is going to have to wait until later. I do want to do that before I go to bed tonight so that they are not going to get caught up or enwrapped in something else. Here, look, I found my beard. <laughs> I do need to wash that though. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember if I've shown the beard before. <laughs> I used to work with a guy who would grow a beard in the winter. And so one day I I wore a beard in and it was pretty fun. <laughs> Good times. I just have one beard, not a full collection though. <laughs> That was for when my hair was darker. I continued to sweep and sweep. It felt like there was no end to the sweeping. And I don't know if it was because this was really a tight space and it was a little bit difficult. It was also probably partly because I continued to sweep under stuff. Now, this white chest of drawers is actually empty. I do want to move this out of the room. It's not a very big room. I am not sure when that will be, but I'm pretty excited to think about it, dream about it, and hopefully, ultimately get it done. I do have a bookshelf that I bought before I had little Colt. And <laughs> I bought it for this room thinking it would be great for some of my collections. Now I'm just not so sure because anything that Colt can reach becomes his automatically. So that will make this bookcase a little bit challenging. That's why I am thinking about shelves instead. Okay, I have a box of stuff that is going to stay in this room but we'll go somewhere once I actually have shelves. I have a pile of stuff that is going elsewhere in other areas of the house. I have a pile of stuff that is being donated. I have a bag of stuff that is going to be sorted because yeah, it's all paper. And then I have got trash and recycling. So, that brings us to the end of today's task, which was to clear this pathway. I thought about mopping. I even brought the mop and the wet wipes in so that I could do the mopping, 
but it was so dang hot that I just didn't want to do it. <laughs> now let's go ahead and take a look at the results. Here is my lack of path before. <laughs> oh gosh. And here it is now. Yay! It's going to be so much better. <laughs> and yes, there is still work to be done, but I'm going to appreciate this new space. Here is what's coming soon. We've got this nightstand and corner. We'll get to that. <laughs> All right, here I am taking out the trash, going back for the recycling and getting that out of the house too. All right, for a little postscript, I thought I would share a little play date. When Colt was surrendered to the Humane Society, he had a brother. Another woman adopted him and we got together for a play date. So cute. <laughs> you can see which one's crazier. 